plan to destabilize Libya, to put al-Qaeda in charge. Three years after we exposed the fact that they wanted to bring down Assad to put in a Saudi Arabian caliphate, that's now mainstream news. Over and over again, you can directly trace back where a story is forced out and breaks through to Infowars.com. I'm not bragging. I'm stating why we're in danger, why we're being demonized, why we're being attacked, why we need your prayers and supports. We are the tip of the spear. Drudge Report is able to take stories uh, even more often than we are, many times more often, that are even mainstream, alternative, foreign, or evidentiary, smoking gun type legal documents and post them or link to them and then force a debate as well. And that's what the mainstream media, the dinosaur media, the prostitute media, the collaborator media, the globalist media, the traitor media, the trash media, the Decepticon media, that's what they hate. Is they want to set the agenda on Caitlyn Jenner and on Dr. Dre. They want to set the agenda on NFL football. They want to be able to set the agenda on how beautiful Michelle Obama's dress is and how gracious she is and how she hung the moon. But more and more, not just Drudge, not just InfoWars, not just World Net Daily, not just places even like Breitbart or Glenn Beck, even though I disagree with some of the things those folks do, overall, the globalists hate them. They don't have it out for America. They want to support the republic. They want free market. They, they want a free country. They're, they're good guys. There's some social corporate business rivalries, at least on their side, not with Drudge or World Net Daily, but with Beck and others. But I don't care because I'm up against pure tyranny. I know what the stakes are. So I'm going to promote anybody that's standing up for freedom. Because let me tell you, it's good to have other people out putting this info out. Because if they can shut down Rush Limbaugh, if they can shut down Matt Drudge, if they can shut down InfoWars, if they can shut down Glenn Beck, and believe me, they've had dirty tricks against him, if they can do that, they can shut anybody down. And a, and a new age of incredible censorship is now here. And that's why in the face of it, we're accelerating what we're doing and doubling down telling the truth. Because the time is short. The reason they're moving ahead with bold censorship and dirty tricks and harassment is because people are listening. People are waking up. It's because we're effective. We're popular. We're a threat. We're empowering people. And the system doesn't like that at all. Here's Donald Trump. Trump, GOP rivals want to start World War III over Syria. We should let Russia fight Islamic State. He goes on to say in the speech, why are we helping ISIS? He can, from this show, three and a half years ago to Donald Trump's lips. And I'm just showing the power of this broadcast. You know, Donald Trump's pointed out our video while he was visiting South Texas. While he's there, they're shipping. Can we show that in the background? InfoWars reporters catch drug smuggling with the big boxes being shipped in. Right while Trump's there, we'll roll that for TV viewers. Again, we're a radio slash TV show if you just tuned in. Uh, 60 Minutes with Vladimir Putin. He said, Assad combats terrorism. U.S. is backing fighters and joining ISIL. We should welcome a common platform for collective action against the terrorist. And here's the big bombshell news, folks. A Chinese aircraft carrier, according to Israeli newspapers, docked two days ago on the coast in a major port city of Syria and offloaded heavy weapons and 1,000 Marines. Putin says U.S. proxy war in Syria violates international law. Russian leader declares the U.S. is supporting terrorist organizations on 60 Minutes. That's Infowars.com. Continuing, Trump, GOP rivals, again, want to start World War III over Syria. We should let Russia fight Islamic State. Continuing, Chinese aircraft carrier reportedly docks at Tardis, Syria. Chinese fighter jets, helicopters to assist Russians in battle against U.S.-backed proxies. Folks, it's not U.S.-backed proxies. 
America has been captured by foreign, ruthless banks that are playing every country off against each other to consolidate power, implode the nation state, bankrupt the individual, destroy the family, and bring in a one-world technocratic police state on its ashes in their own words. France goes on to admit its airstrikes are actually helping to try to bring down Assad. Yeah, half the time they actually bomb government forces. So that's some of the news on that front. Meanwhile, one in three Syrian refugees have fake IDs, German authorities admit RT. That's who they're bringing into the West is a bunch of jihad fighters that got beaten by Assad and the Russians in Syria. They're all out of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and other countries. Now they're pouring in with their fake IDs. ISIS said this six months ago, they'd use a fake immigrant wave, almost 80% all male, to invade the West loves it because they'll stage terror attacks now, and then they'll take our liberties, our freedoms, when the terrorists strike. German nurse shocked after being forced out of her home to make way for refugees. She lived in a government-sponsored home. A lot of Germans live in these houses where they pay, but it's subsidized because they're a government worker. Oh, you've got to get out now because we got to make way for the Syrians and others. Having lived in the same flat for 16 years, a German woman is being forced to move out to make way for refugees because building a new shelter is too expensive. The 51-year-old nurse who helped asylum seekers in the past was shocked by the news. That's in the Die Welt newspaper. In, in um, a whole bunch of European countries, they're now making them pay taxes for the foreigners. And in Sweden, having them move into your home under orders. <laughs> That's the next level of political correctness quartering not foreign troops as the constitution bans in your house but foreigners here the democrats get the anchor babies the illegals they get in groups of three each house takes three people you get seven grand a month and then the democrats just basically make their living off that an organized crime takeover as the border patrol admitted their job is now to complete the smuggling process so that's some of the news on that front. We're going to shift gears into the full-on globalist assault. Pope Francis and his final blitzkrieg leg, calling for open borders, gun control, carbon taxes, and world government. Doesn't exist, but he's calling for it. Another one of those conspiracy theories that just came true. We just had all the documents. It was already true. Didn't come true. You just know it's true now. Uh, we'll have our reporters from Philadelphia joining us. Stay with us. So we're seeing a war on free speech all over the world. We're seeing a war on internet freedom. We're seeing open announcements of global government carbon taxes to be collected by the IMF, World Bank, and XM Bank, which will then be paid to private carbon companies literally owned by Barack Obama, George Soros, Al Gore, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, and others. The Chicago Mercantile Carbon Exchange is partially owned by Obama and Valerie Jarrett and the rest of them. The European subsidiaries are openly owned by the Rothschild Bank. Just type in Rothschild's own European carbon trading. Blood and gore. It, and by the way, that is a pun, but, but that's really the name of it. It's, 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 it's gore and blood, not blood and gore, is the name of the carbon trading firm in London that is the main carbon trading operation for the UK, set to make hundreds of billions of dollars itself. Financial Times of London, if all this goes through. And the Pope is there calling for it. Nothing to do with the environment. Say we need global government to tackle air pollution, which is carbon dioxide and water vapor. But no talk about China or India cutting their pollution that is off the chart compared to ours. No. But it's okay because the whole liberal media and every Democrat just says, I'm not even a Christian or a Catholic, but I love this Pope. But arrest any conservative churches that criticize Obama. Have the IRS go after him. Why, your church can't criticize abortion? That's political. We're going to take your 501c3 that didn't exist till the 50s, which turns your church into a charity and violates the First Amendment. How does Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof? How does that mean the government 
tells the churches what they can and can't say. But, oh, the Catholic Church and, and the bishops can call for open borders. And the Pope, I've got his quotes here, can chastise Donald Trump in America for not taking enough people and not paying enough money when the Catholic Church won't pay for one anchor baby. And they got 177 million acres worldwide, upwards of $200 trillion in assets, and the, uh, the first or second largest landowners in the world, and they're going to tell middle-class America, you didn't do enough. They're going to tell Germany, you didn't do enough taking in Middle Easterners. You didn't do enough. And then all the poor go, yay, yay, we're now Marxist Catholics. This is the communist takeover, literally. Coming up, the censorship of Christians, the censorship, any criticism of radical Islam, you're arrested in England. I have mainstream news. 120 days in jail, 5,000 euro fine. They've reactivated the Stasi Germany-wide. I remember reading that in the German news last week. I couldn't even believe it. The Stasi, they're reactivating them, and then they just arrest you if you criticize open borders? That's political correctness. Total flaming tyranny. It's here. They're making their move, folks. And nobody's safe. We better stand together. You grovel to this now. You bow to this now. It's over. Now, day to night, Jakari are going to be flying out, I guess, in the morning. They've done a superlative job since Wednesday, covering the Pope arriving in D.C. and then going to New York and the U.N. and now to Philadelphia to rally the third world to invade the United States, get voter ID cards and overthrow the United States, I guess, in some Marxist I mean, I guess the Marxists and the globalists already took over the Catholic Church with a pedophile blackmail. The Guardian reported on that, and now it's time for them to take down America. So you want to see how America falls? This is it. King George couldn't defeat us, but Papa Pope can. Uh, David Knight joining us from Philadelphia. David, thank you. Give us your breakdown on what we're witnessing. David Knight, Infowars.com here in Philadelphia. Today. Next, we have a world meeting of families, and earlier in the day, the Pope went to a prison. Those two might be connected if there was any justice. He would be visiting some of his priests in prison, but he didn't. Actually, there are some high-ranking officials here in Philadelphia. We have the, the most high-ranking church official ever to go to prison. He went to prison, Alex, for conspiracy. Conspiracy to cover up what these priests underneath them were doing. They've had a long history of moving priests around who were known. They, were, they caught them abusing children instead of reporting them to the authorities, or even kicking them out of the church, they would move them to another location. Now, he said today earlier that God weeps about the sexual abuse of children. Yeah, God weeps he for said, him covering it up. Yes. He said, we're going to do something about it. Well, he hasn't done anything about it for two and a half years as pope. Nothing at all about it for two and a half years. Let me tell you, it was here in Philadelphia just four years ago. Archbishop Regali retired, went to Tennessee, because the entire archdiocese had been indicted for cover-ups. Now, that same bishop joined this pope not once but twice on this trip as a VIP. That's how contrite, how torn up this pope is about this scandal. They have been covering this up. There are thousands of cases of abuse. In this particular case, there were over three dozen priests that were involved in this. Now, prior to this, the prior archbishop here in Philadelphia, was, uh, who's now deceased, in that particular case, they had some secret archives, that's what they called them, secret archives, had a list of over 36 priests that were known pedophiles, and they had next to their names the dates of which they had committed the crimes so they would know when the statute of limitations was out. That's how cold and calculated they are with this, Alex. And, and it undermines, I think we need to understand this, because he comes here to put a moral authority on on all the things that you When he's really the king of the pedophiles and, exactly. and, and they use the pedophilia takeover for the Marxist infiltration of the church to now overthrow it. So now they're not blackmailing. The media is not bringing up pedophilia anymore because the Catholic Church is now anti-family, pro-abortion, world government pushing. They can now back off. You can see the takeover. Absolutely. And, and Alex, you have to understand, too, it's the same trick that we see the politicians use all the time. If you're going to create a, an act of tyranny, if you're going to legalize martial law, you call it the Patriot Act. If you're going to hide the fact that, uh, of what they're putting into your food, you call it the Safe and Accurate Labeling Act. Okay, They always do exactly the opposite. So this master politician, this pope, comes to the very city where they've had the greatest 
reported incidences of uh, child abuse by the clergy. He comes to here and he holds a world meeting of families right on this site. I mean, how much colder, more hypocritical can you be than I that? I just know all these immigrants better watch bringing their kids around these folks. Yeah, 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 absolutely.